Hello everybody, this is Joseph. Welcome to another QML tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to discuss uh, introduction to Qt Multimedia. So let's get started. In our previous tutorial, we learned about System Palette and how we can use it. And we made a simple application that looks like this. And uh, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so um, <clears throat> let's talk about Qt Multimedia. The first thing that we're going to need to do is import Qt Multimedia. 5.0 if you're running Qt 5, which all my tutorials are using that, so I hope you are. Um, anyways, now we need to talk about QML, Qt Multimedia. What is Qt Multimedia? Qt Multimedia is a libs that allow us to uh, use elements in Qt and in C++, but um, for this tutorial we're going we're gonna to stick to QML, um, that allow us to connect to things and play things like video or audio or connect to our camera and uh, radio. So those are the four main elements of uh, Qt Multimedia. And in this tutorial we're going to be using the audio one. So without further ado, let's get started. So underneath our system palette right here we're going to add the uh, audio and we're going to say ID set it equal to player okay we're gonna say the source okay this is the source file that we want to play so we'll say I'm just gonna hard code in something for right now which is, and in later tutorials we'll be learning how to find the users uh, music libraries video libraries so on and so forth uh, that's much later on though uh, using some C++ but okay now let's set it to auto load true Auto play, true. Okay, let's save and run this. And uh, I don't know if the <clears throat> my player is catching all of this, but it's definitely playing in the background. Um, so let's uh, look a little bit more at this audio um, element. Let's go down to our mouse area down here, okay? And let's say on clicked. Give ourselves some curly brackets. And we will say, whoops, we will say uh, console log uh, player uh, dot playback state. Okay. So we click on it and it gives us one because it's playing. So let's change this. Let's say if. If player playback state is equal to one, okay, we want to say player, and we're going to use a method here. We're going to say player dot pause, right? So we want to pause the the music, right? And then we're going to say if maybe I should be using case statement here. Player dot playback state is equal 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 to two, which means it's paused. We're going to say player. dot play oops okay so again recapping we're gonna we're, we're checking to see what the playback state is if it's one we want the pay we want the player to pause okay if the playback state is equal to two then we want the player to play let's go ahead and save and run this code we click on our button pauses in place pauses in place pauses in place Okay, I'm not really sure why that did not. If playback state is equal to one player dot pause, else if player dot playback state is equal to two player dot play, I don't know why that's not working. We could just say else. Pause, play, pause, play. Okie dokie. Um, that's that. Now let's go down to our text right here. And let's basically do the same thing here. We'll say, we'll just copy this right here. Say if player playback state is equal to one, we're going to return
pause. Else. Return. Play. Okay. Save and run this. We can see it says pause right here. When we click on it, it says play. Pause, play, pause, play. Okay. Let's create another button here just by simply copying all of this. And let's give it some space down here. And we'll put some comments in here to say uh, seek button. And let's change all of this to be seek. I'm just anchoring it into its right there. And seek. Fill. We want to anchor fill the seek rec. And anchor center in the seek mouse area. Okay. And for the text, we're going to take this out and we're just going to put player dot position. Now on clicked, what we're going to say is player dot seek. Okay. And now we're going to say the players, players dot position that it's at right now. Okay. And then we're going to say plus 100. Save and run that. As you can see over here, the number is going up because the position of the index is going up. If we press fast forward, it'll fast forward it. Okay, and of course, if we wanted to make it a rewind button, we would just make this negative. And you can go through and look at the uh, positioning of each of these, right? Okay, so that's how to, how to seek your music forward and back. Let's go back up to our audio element up here and let's open up the help page and real quickly go through some more of these properties. Uh, the duration is how long the actual, uh, the duration is actually how long the file is. Um, availability is really important and you should look at that. Um, say you're getting something from online or something like that. Uh, yeah, uh, let's check that out. Availability is busy, unavailable, or resources missing. Um, and those come back to you. You can do some uh, ch error checking on that. Um, we can do check the error string also too. Buffer progress, uh, you know you know what buffering is. Uh, let's see here, has video, has audio, um, check that. Metadata we're not gonna get into, but uh, maybe later on. Muted, that's another deal, you know, um, is it muted? Um, playback state, uh, we've already done that. Playback rate, uh, so the rate that it's at. Uh, position, we know what that is. Seekable, um, that's just a, a private Boolean statement. Uh, source, we know what that is. And status, of course we know what status does. And volume, uh, we didn't do volume, let's do volume over here. We'll say volume uh, is equal to 0.7. And of course we could have like a slider bar or something like that, right? That like goes up and down it and, and sets the the volume value. Um, so your playback, uh, we could do on playback state change, on playback state change, and then we could have a bunch of different things. And uh, we, we didn't discuss stop. Stop basically stops all of the media and says, you know, it's over, and then if you hit play again, it starts the media all over again, where pause just pauses it in the middle. Uh, yeah, that's about it for this. Um, this is Joseph. You've learned quite a bit about audio and how to play 
different things. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a good one, and be nice to everybody out there.